your audio cut out a few times actually there dj it was really weird uh, even so you agreed with my point so yeah it's just better when we can't hear you it's just easier to agree with you <laughs> oh, i'm not sure you're finding it funny enough Saki. So today we have our first guest on the show. Woo! Welcome, Wana. Thank you very much. In fact, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you may be familiar with Wana's voice from our podcast. Yeah, it's annoying as f <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be taking a look at online fashion app ASOS in a special multi-part episode. Yep, we're going to be buying me some brand new clothes. And we'll be digging a little bit deeper into the app today to give you a real flavour of what a design critique looks like. Let's jump in. Stunning. 1.1 million ratings, 4.8 stars. Editor's choice as well, so it's got a special badge there. Does that just mean they paid Apple for that badge? Let's head over to the app. Oh, okay. That is so sick. Yes, for internet notifications. Very engaging start of the video. Doesn't that just get you excited? I got excited seeing that first thing. That is cool. You don't see that a lot, right? It's quite unique. Interesting that they start <laughs> simply by asking you a question of women or men. Oh, is that what you looked at? I'm still, I'm still looking at the videos. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> the videos are so cool. The thing is, you don't know that it's a fashion app. It's kind of people having fun. That's actually very true. It just seems quite enjoyable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like I said, I got excited by it. Yeah, I definitely got excited by the fact that some of the videos aren't actually full screen and they create an unnecessary blur in the background. <laughs> because we've got a guest on, it's only fitting. Let's go with women. Agreed. <laughs> App update search just got better. Do you think it really needed to tell me this in a fat screen? Wow, I mean, depends how much of an improvement they've made. I'd imagine it'd be quite a big one. It says, now you can easily go back to your previous searches with the filters still applied. Okay, that is like saved searches, which is quite cool. Yeah, I guess if you're a returning user, though, this is useful. If not, if you just downloaded the app for the first time, it seems a bit much to see this when you have no idea even how to search in the first place. Yeah, could this not be shown maybe when you've started searching or if you've done a search with multiple filters? It's quite relevant at that point. But obviously, I'm assuming they don't have the technical skills to filter out the customers by a new customer, an existing customer. And they've just... We should really challenge the devs. I'm sure our PM will love that. Like, you, you say this isn't feasible right now, and all I hear are the words, right now. <laughs> <laughs> we know that the search has gotten better. That's great. I'm going to say, okay, thanks. And go on. Well, before we get started on the buying, actually, I'd just like to talk about these two things up at the top. You see premier delivery and the and the sale. Is that highlighted to you quite quickly? Because for me, I was just like, I felt they were quite addy. I have used the ASOS app and in my kind of mental model, I do remember those two areas, you know, mm. being used for their sales or promotion. So I personally might just skip those. Yeah, I haven't used it in a while, but that, that those two came up first and I was like, I'll probably peruse through it, maybe read through it, but I definitely got struck by those two first. So it's interesting how for a new user, and I would say I'm a new user now because I haven't used it in such a long time. Those two things were important, but for DJ... As a returning user, to this. yeah, I think one thing that you definitely need now is a, a top because even if we're not going out on holiday or partying, sadly, in COVID, we are still on video calls. What's wrong with my current top? <laughs> it's I mean, just a lose-lose situation you want to do something nice oh my dresses <laughs> suck is that right just double no, checking no, i just i just thought you could add to the collection that's all mm. i really like the use of copy that they have because usually like you know fashion websites have like dresses tops shoes whereas their sections especially on the home screen are like mm. a lot more creative and i like the sub mm. um the descriptions as well which are not again like super creative and they try to be funny and original let's browse let's look a bit more copy let's keep scrolling down dj you mentioned one thing earlier that talked about what could be in right now I think with face coverings, right? Like they're, they're, they're on trend. I assume they've ordered it, you know, based on what's popular. I'm just wondering if it's worthwhile categorizing some of these two things like 
what's hot, what's new, summer trends, like a new trend kind of thing, if that makes sense. I know they've got it in the title a little bit with new makeup, but almost as like a different type of layout. I quite like this one. Yeah, I mean, it's much more traditional, I think, to have typical categories, like you say, you know, what's popular, what's new, these kind of things. But like you said, I think I like what they've done here. It's a bit different when they've just shown you that, right? And I don't know if you need to have the the higher level of the categories and show the categories that just actually show me what things I would like to click on. What else is there? Scroll down. Look at the copy again, Wana. Pool intentions. <laughs> it's nice. I don't know if I'm a fan of the typography here. Like there's just, it feels like all, just this part of the screen is like five different styles. Mm -hmm. It feels a bit much. And with the imagery and colors, I just, yeah. It feels like a bit much to me. Yeah, if you look at this green one for more ways to pay, it looks like the top line is one style with icon logos. The second line is bold, and the bottom line is like ultra thin. <laughs> all in one container. It just feels like pick and mix UI. <laughs> just shove them all in, all sorts. <laughs> the colouring is interesting because I don't know how readable that is, that kind of, is a pinky red and, and purple. Accessibility police. <laughs> okay, let's get one or a top. A cute little top that ties it all together. All right. <laughs> I am excited and scared at the same time. It's really clean. Really, really clean. Why is it clean? What does clean mean to you? It's minimal from an icon perspective to me. 